Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about OP games and today we're going to be playing Super Mario 64. The last episode, if you don't remember, we did a ton of stuff. I returned after two and a half months and also we unlocked the second Bowser fight. We also were directed to pound down two pillars, whatever that means. We'll just have to wait and see. And then there was a few other things and also we need to finish off the fifth world. So we have a lot of stuff to do. And I hope we can get it all done in this video, but if we can't, you know. Reacting to the star power, the door slowly opens. So, the interesting thing about the second Bowser fight is you can't immediately go into the fight, but you have to go through the first star of World 9 real quick, or Course 9, I should say. And you have to get that star because the story states that Bowser fled off to the sea and that's what we're doing here is we're making him leave the sea and then the second Bowser fight activates well it doesn't activate but we have to go through a Bowser level and then the Bowser fight activates I don't know why I'm using the word activates we get to the Bowser fight I'll, I'll just say that instead <laughs> I thought I'd just let you guys listen to the music for a little bit. Anyways, we have this switch here, and that leads over here up to the top of this Bowser-branded submarine. Speaking of Bowser branding, the Super Mario Bros. movie from 1993 was super weird, like, Bowser was a weird lizard man, and he was a business guy, Yoshi was a real dinosaur, it was super strange. So here is the second Bowser level, it is Bowser in the Fire Sea, and this one's a bit trickier than the first one, this is probably the trickiest one. The third one is pretty tricky, but this one can suck. Uh, and if you don't believe me on that, this is my third try doing this. Or maybe it's just that I suck. That's probably it. So right here there was going to be some audio of me talking about how I was uploading this the day before Thanksgiving. But obviously that's no longer the case considering the fact that it's the Monday afterwards. And so I thought I'd just re-record some parts of this video, either because of me stuttering a bunch, or because of me just being wrong about when I was uploading this, or a couple other things. Hopefully the audio splices aren't too noticeable, but it's me, and I'm not that great at editing, so it'll probably be noticeable. I hope it's not too bad though, so... Yeah, just a fair warning going forward. Okay, that took me three tries to actually get correct, so thankfully I was actually able to do the thing and I didn't have to go through this a fourth time. Bowser Fight 2, let's see what he has to say. Please join me again, Army um, Mario. Can't you see that I'm having a merry little time making mischief with my minions? Now, return those stars, my troops in the walls need them. Wahaha! <laughs> So he starts off with a cool new attack. He twists and turns the entire platform. He doesn't twist it, but he tilts it. But it's basically the same boss fight as, as before. So yeah, when he jumps, we slide down here. And I think he can teleport, but we don't want to allow him to do that. There we go. And that is Bowser fight number two. It should not have taken me this long. Uh, it's probably only like three or four minutes into the video for you guys, but we're almost at the 10 minute mark for me. Could it be that I've lost the power of the stars has failed me this time? Consider this a draw. Next time I'll be in perfect condition. Now, if you want to see your precious princess come to the top of the tower, I'll be waiting. So he invites us to fight at the very top, and that'll be when the final boss fight takes place which actually isn't far away we just need to get four more stars and we'll be at the halfway point you know what I think that'll be a good place to end off the video when we get to the halfway point 
So let's just... I, and I think we can do that by if we get this next thing. And then if we complete Big Boo's Haunt, then that should get us to 35 stars, which would be pretty cool. In the last episode, it sounds like I'm opening up the video, but they mentioned a a set of pillars that we had to pound. That sounds a bit weird, don't take that out of context. But these are what they were talking about. You just want to ground pound on top of them, and once you ground pound both of them, it drains the water. Don't question it. Now that this is all dried up, I don't think I mentioned this before, but there's this little area here, and it was blocked off by a grate. But now it seems that something happened to where the grate got removed, and now we can enter. Welcome to the Vanish Cap Switch course. All of the blue blocks you find will become solid once you step on the cap switch. You'll disappear when you put on a Vanish Cap, so you'll be able to elude enemies and walk through many things. Try it out. So this is our third cap stage. This is the Vanish Cap. Uh, probably my second... I don't know how I'd rank the caps, because the wing cap is awesome because you get to fly, but the metal cap is also cool. It has the best theme. And then the vanish cap, you know, turning invisible is probably people's like top three power-ups that they would want to get. Whenever you ask someone what, like, su superpowers they would want if they were ever granted superpowers, I feel like their top three would be like, Light, invisibility, and super strength. Let me know what your top three favorite superpowers are in the comment section below. You've just stepped on the vanish cap switch. The vanish cap makes Mario disappear. Now vanish caps will pop up, pop from all the blue blocks you find. I it was awful going through that sentence. Anyways, we get our eighth red coin and our thirty-second star. We just need to grab the Vanish Cap, and we can walk right through the wall. Here we go. Back to the opposite side of the castle, we want to head back into Big Boo's Haunt. And if there's only three left... Actually, no, there might be two left. Yeah, so... We're gonna get through this one and that one, and then we could either end it on us completing the fifth course, or we could end it on us having 35 stars and being halfway done with the game. I say we end halfway through the game. So Big Boo's Balcony is our next star. And this one is, it's a bit tricky to get up to your first time. Uh, but once you memorize where to go and you get a bit better with how you move around and stuff, it should pr be pretty easy. It's just another big boo fight, and you want to whoop, you want to silly kick up the roof. And if you don't know what silly kicking is, go check out the, I believe it was the first episode where I had talked about that. Our sixth star is eye to eye in the secret room, and it's a good thing that we got the invisibil invisibility cap or the vanish cap. I always I always say the invisibility cap for some reason. But it's a good thing we got that because this next star requires it. And there's no cheesing it, I guess, is the way that speedrunners prefer to going around things the not intended way. I can't even properly get up here. Sorry if my commentary is a bit bad in this one. I'm super tired today for some reason. Anyways, you have a time limit here. You want to grab the Vanish Cap, wall jump up here to where the Big Boo boss fight was, but instead you want to go inside of this Boo uh, painting. And there's a giant Mr. Eye enemy. We saw it in the red coin collecting mission in one of the previous ones. And the way that you defeat it is you just walk around it a bunch of times and it nets you a star. Eye to Eye in the Secret Room is our last star in Big Boo's Haunt. I think I already mentioned this in one of the first episodes, but I'm not doing the 100 coin stars because they're super tedious and they're not required. 
I guess a lot of the stars aren't required, but I'll just be getting the main ones that you see on the select screen high maps. That was a weird bonk. I bonked into the wall and then Mario fell over, but backwards. Anyways, course 6 is Hazy Maze Cave, swimming beast in the cavern. Now, this one is pretty quick in speedrunning because... And I think I'm going the wrong way. No, I think I'm going the right way. If I'm not, I'll just cut. And I went the wrong way. Oh, oh god. Don't do that. Don't fall into the pit. So you actually want to go right this time. I don't... Oh, I know what to do. I'm a double idiot. That should be the title of this video, Double Idiot. So you want to go in here, but you don't want to go the right way. You want to go the left way, which is the correct way. Left is right is what I'm trying to say. You want to hop right onto this platform right here, which is an elevator. It guides you right down here. And this is our swimming beast in the cavern, if it'll actually... Is Dory a he or a she? I'll put it on screen. Here's Dory. You want to ground pound on Dory's back right here. And you want to hop on its head. And wherever Mario faces is where it will go. And that's our 35th star. Halfway through the game, this is where we'll go ahead and end off the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue seeing what's here in Hazy Maze Cave, and maybe even go to the seventh world. Of course. Dang it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.